don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. <laughs>
Let's see if I can remember exactly how to do this. The arms come unpegged. There's a two flaps right here. Pull the arms out and they will rotate around. This comes down, crosses in front, and this is, I thought it was supposed to lock in, maybe it doesn't. The hand is right here, it comes out, that comes down, you have to get the elbow going here, he says, yeah, get the hand out there first. Ugh. And this one does have an elbow just like the other one. It's hooked in right here. Like that. Okay. So am I missing something here? I don't think so. And then this will just fold up on the back and be right here like this. He says. I'm telling you, it's the easiest way to do this and not damage your stuff here there we go that just folds up and here he is yep here he is why is that not he clips in up top here and holds it all in place and here he is in robot mode I don't know if you all saw any of that at all So, zooming in, pardon me for adjusting the camera, as you can see, he has painted eyes, he's got this silver spot right here, uh, these just fold over, we could still see the windshield wiper, he's got this detail down here, all this comes through, the hands, he's got this silver detailing down here on top of this black, I believe that's just well, it might be paint. I'd say it's just... Well, that's black plastic, so this must be painted. Uh, this is white plastic. These things just kind of... I mean, there's kneecaps. So, they just kind of stay there. The wheels turn around like this, and the toesies are like this. So, here's what he looks like on the side. And the back. Articulation. The head is on a swivel. You can go all the way around. The arms are on a very, very soft ratchet. They can go, actually, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it or not, but let me zoom in here and I'll show you. There is a ratchet. You all might be able to see it right there. But yeah, it's there. So he has a ratchet for the shoulders. They go all the way around. No such thing as a butterfly joint, but it can go up this far. So that's as far as he can do, you know, he's not going to be able to go wee. Single hinged elbow gets you just shy of 90 degrees. The hands don't rotate, but they will go in and out if you open this flap up, which kind of destroys the sculpt. No waist swivel. Let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The legs can go this far out on this joint. So he can definitely do the Chinese splits, the American splits, that's as far as you're going to get with the American splits, so he can't do the American splits. Thigh rotation is built into, I thought that was a mushroom peg, but it's not. It's built into this joint, unless the mushroom peg's on the inside, it's built into that joint. Double hinge knee gets you past 90 degrees, and the feet are on this ball joint right here, you can see. So, they go in a little bit. Uh, they don't really want to go up, but you might be able to get it a little bit. Coming down, uh, very little. So basically, this is just for a rocker, and that is as far as he can go standing flat-footed. Yeah. Height-wise, he's coming in at six and three quarters approximately. Shoulder to shoulder, we're looking at 
uh, about three and a half depth wise uh, eyeballing this I'd say it's about two and a quarter approximately I suppose the next thing to do is scale comparison in this mode so let's see he's supposed to have a sword too I'll see if I can find his swords and we'll do scale comparison thoughts wise you know how I look at these things quality playability and cost so the quality eh, it, it's okay you're, you're gonna bend some plastic if you're not careful this is not masterpiece level stuff but it is acceptable playability I have ran these these various ones through their transformation several times and the only one I'm really concerned about is this one Primarily because of these little connecting pins that you have to have for the combined mode. They're going to break off. At some point, they're going to break off. They're just too small. And they're an integral part of the transformation. So my recommendation for those would be, if you wish to use this, make sure the fact that you decide to keep it in you know, whatever mode you're going to keep it in. If you're going to combine it, you might want to leave it as a combiner. Those are going to break at some point. The cost, I think I paid $55 for the set, so this figure was $11, if you look at it like that. I find that most acceptable. The quality here is most definitely better than what we get for Hasbro from Hasbro on occasion for more. So, yeah, I like this one. I think it's just fine, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of them do. Uh, Nemesis, why are you on screen? Well, I haven't seen you do a Transformer video for a while, and I thought this would be an interesting one to jump into. Now, to be fair, Nemesis, I have actually lost count of exactly what order I have done these in, so you may be looking at the last video making a reference as if this is the first. Damn it! Why do you do this to me? I do this to you because it's fun, and people seem to enjoy watching you suffer. Damn it! Damn it! Nobody should watch me suffer. Oh well, I, I can't disagree with you, but... Anyway, why don't you go ahead and get off the screen so I can wrap this up. I go, but I'm always watching. Nemesis? Ah! Anyway... That's the review for this one. Uh, we'll combine them all at the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. And now for our good friends in Canada, Vitamin John is now available at your local retailer, Walmart, Shopco, Costco, uh, whatever else I can think of to sell it. Or you can call the number on your screen now. Vitamin John, operators are standing by. Call now!